Loosen seven captive screws. Lift the bottom cover from the system. Disconnect the battery from the system board. Remove two retaining screws. Lift the battery from the chassis. Press the retaining clips outward to release the memory module. Grasp the module by the edges and pull it from the slot. Pull back the Mylar cover and remove a single retaining screw. Pull the solid state drive from the slot. Disconnect the battery from the system board. Peel the battery up from the system. Disconnect the two antenna cables. Remove the single retaining screw. Pull the wireless LAN card from the slot. Remove two screws from the bottom of the system. Use a non-metallic pry tool to pry up the front edge of the keyboard. Pull the top edge out of the keyboard bezel and flip it over. Disconnect the keyboard cable from the system board. Remove the two rubber screw covers.
Remove four screws from the corners. Remove six more screws from the bottom of the system. Flip the system over and open it. Remove three screws from the keyboard bezel. Disconnect the card reader cable from the system board. Disconnect the trackpad cable from the system board. Disconnect the logo LED cable from the system board. Use a non-metallic pry tool to pry up the edges around the keyboard bezel and lift it from the system. Disconnect the LCD cable from the system board. Remove the cables from the cable guides. Disconnect the camera cable from the system board. Pull the cables through the chassis. Remove three screws from each hinge. Lift the LCD assembly from the system. Disconnect the LCD cable from the system board. Disconnect the DC in cable from the system board.
remove two screws and lift the brackets from the system board. Remove a single retaining screw. Loosen the captive screw on the heatsink. Lift the system board from the chassis. Lift the DC end cable straight up and out of the chassis. Disconnect the fan cable from the system board. Using a cross pattern, loosen the four captive screws. Lift the heatsink from the system board. Remove two screws. Pull the cable through the slot and remove the card reader. Remove the cable from the cable guide. Lift the speakers from the post on the keyboard bezel. Remove four screws from the trackpad bracket. Peel back the metallic tape and lift the bracket from the keyboard bezel. Remove two screws from the trackpad and peel back the metallic tape. Lift the trackpad from the bezel and pull the cable through the slot.
for a touchscreen display, use a non-metallic pick or pry tool to remove the screw covers. Remove two screws. Use the pry tool to pop open the clips around the edges of the LCD panel. Flip the panel over and disconnect the touch control and LCD cable. For a non-touch display, after removing the screws, pull up around the edges of the bezel to pop the clips and remove it. Remove four screws from the LCD panel. Flip the panel over and disconnect the LCD cable. Remove three retaining screws. Lift the hinge from the system. Repeat for the other hinge. Peel the wireless LAN antenna from the top cover, being careful not to rip the tape. Remove the antenna from the cable guide. Repeat for the other antenna.
Disconnect a camera cable from the camera. Use a non-metallic pry tool to lift the camera from the adhesive and the chassis. Disconnect the cable from the sensor board. Peel the sensor board from the top cover. Disconnect the cable from the camera. Disconnect the cable from the sensor board. Remove the cable from the cable guides. Carefully peel up the logo LED from the top cover. Remove the LCD camera cable from the cable guides.